Hey and welcome back to my channel where I make videos about dating, sexuality, body positivity and other kind of more taboo topics. I am sorry about the lighting, the sun is being crazy, but I don't have lights so I'm sitting in front of my window. Um, so hopefully it doesn't bother you too much, it will probably go away in a little bit. Um, but today I am going to show you what is in my pole dancing bag. So a little bit different, I figured, why not? So this is my bag. <laughs> it's just a cheap, I think it was eight dollars or something back from Kmart. Um, I must say it's normally not this full but I've chucked a lot of shit in there when I was moving so all my shoes and stuff are in there but I'm not normally bringing all my shoes to every class obviously. Um, so let's open this bag. So one of the first things is, it's not very interesting, it's just these like sweatpants things um so i usually just chuck that over my pole dancing clothes because i need to walk through the city and yeah i can't really walk through the city in booty shorts um and then i have which i'm not really wearing right now because it is hot but in winter i wear this hoodie you know cardigan thing uh that i actually bought from the place where i pole dance so it is and that so it has their logo on it and it has my name on it so uh yeah so i wear that in winter um and i have some outfits in here as well so shorts and then i have this sports bra which is what of the outfits i'm currently would wear because it is really hot here right now so uh, I attempted wearing a top over this, but it was too hot, so it came off. Um, so another one I have, which actually still has the tags on it because I haven't worn this yet. So is uh, this shorts and then this bra that goes on top, which actually closes, oh my God, closes at the front. Um, and then what else do I have in? Uh, another set of. See, you can't walk into the city <laughs> with just this. So then I put the pants over it. Um, let's see. Oh, I think this is the last outfit. So this is just a one piece. Da -da -da. That also still has a tag on it because I just bought it and I haven't worn it yet. Uh, what else do I have? Shoes. So let's do shoes. Um, so I have uh, these ones, which are, so they're clear, the heels are clear, the plastic is clear. Uh, they're six inches, I think. Uh, I don't know if I can see it on this. Yeah, so these are six inches. Um, and I'm tall. I'm 5'11", without heels on. So. You know when guys on like dating profiles say, oh, I'm taller than you and your tallest heels. These are not my tallest heels. So unless you're like six foot seven, probably not. Um, so yeah, so I have these. I have three pairs of heels. Um, then I have these ones I've worn the most. So they're just black and they actually have like a leather, I don't know, strap because these have plastic. Um, I have another pair that I'll show you in a second. They also have plastic and it kind of hurt my feet so then when I got a second pair I decided to go for like the leather ones. These are also six inch and they're just like a simple matte black. So yeah so I have a pair of those and then okay these I don't wear that much because they're really they're seven inches and the plastic was hurting my feet but I'm getting used to using the other ones now, so I think I should be okay starting to use these because how pretty! So these are like an ombre glitter um, and they are, yeah, they're seven inches, but yeah, so this is that plastic. So that's quite like hard and sturdy and that was like cutting in my feet. So that's why I ended up buying the other leather pair, but I think I'm gonna have to try and you get used to using these because they are so pretty. Look at that. Um, yeah, so if I wear these, I'm 5'11", these are seven inches. So uh, yeah. <laughs> also, I had the issue when I was wearing these that the place I go to 
their poles aren't super high. So the problem was that if I would invert, I would pretty much had to screw down while I was upside down because I would hit the ceiling. So I need to work on that. Um, I have these in my bag, so we usually do routines and sometimes you have to like, you know, pivot and stuff on the floor and they have carpet. So I kept getting like blisters under my feet and carpet burns. So I got these. So basically you just put your toes in there and then you kind of like, I think they use them for like gymnastics or something usually, or maybe ballet. Um, yeah, probably don't smell them because they probably smell disgusting. So I have these, you put these on your feet. So there is a hole here, so your heel goes in there. And it just helps with like grip. So yeah, so I have a pair of those, which to be honest, I don't use them that much. Um, then knee pads, because you know, I'm sorry, this sun is really getting annoying. <laughs> but knee pads because uh yeah we do floor work sometimes and let me tell you it's not very nice being on your knees on the carpet rolling around so without knee pads so knee pads um then i have well socks i have socks so these are like knee high so usually put the socks on and then the knee pads or just the socks. Sometimes if, if there is a little bit of floor work, I can pull it off with just the socks and I don't need the knee pads. Um, then I have these leg warmers, which I haven't used yet, but I think they would actually look cute with the clear ones. But uh, yeah, then it would be more for like a floor routine because you can have grip if you have this on your leg. A water bottle. And I think we're almost there. Uh, yeah, well, there is a umbrella that is normally not in there and I forgot it was in there too so and then I have dry hands so basically this is like kind of like chalk so you put that on your hands uh, it's liquid but it then kind of like dries up your hands so you don't slip as much so I could try and show you see it comes out powdery now because that's a bit dry but it comes out I don't know if you can see that because I can't really see myself so you do that and then you just rub it and then your hands are like grippy. So that's mainly for summer and stuff when you're very sweaty. You can also put it on your inner thighs and stuff if you don't have grip there or just put it straight on the pole. But yeah, so you actually can see, I don't know if you can see that. It dries out like kind of powdery. Um, yeah, so that is what was in my pole dancing bag. Um, let me know if you want me to do like a separate video with like different pole dancing outfits I have because I just thought maybe I should do that. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you want me to do that because I'm happy to do that for you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell and I hope to see you next time. Bye!